Hi, and welcome to Stefador's Jewelry and More. I am bringing you another online uh, haul. This one's a big one. I actually am going to combine two hauls with this particular group that I bought these natural stone beads from Fad Keys. Um, so I get these. Let's see if there's a website. Mm, it's small I can't read it let's see it says there you go crystal wholesale www.fadkeys.com sorry for the shaking I'm back in my truck and when the camera's close it really does do a shake job so I apologize for that but uh, let's just get started start off with this uh, first group this was I believe a, a Valentine's special it was a BOGO buy one get one and the regular BOGO was 12 scoops so then I think that makes 24 scoops and 40. And now we have, oh, by the way, that was flower green agate that was 290 pieces. Each one of these are 50 beads minus the 10 that was 40 on the last one. So it was 290 beads. Now we're going to do the rose quartz beads. Let's get started. Three hundred and fourteen pieces of the rose quartz eight millimeter.
And now we have the Plum Flower Agate, eight millimeter. Okay, and now we have our, what is this one? This one is the Winter Sweet Agate. It's kind of a yellowish and purple. Might be hard to see in my lighting. Pour it in the bowl, we'll get a better look at it. Beautiful.
and 38 so this one was quite short And now I don't remember what that was. <laughs> that makes 286 pieces. Let's write that down. 286 pieces of the sweet. A oh, winter sweet, my bad. Winter sweet. Eight millimeter. Let's go ahead and get that back in the bag. That little lip right there is getting my bowl. I don't like it. I gotta give myself more room, but my camera is cutting me short. It's making me spill. I don't like that. You know, like maybe a smaller bowl. Let me see if I can use a smaller bowl. Maybe it won't be so hard to pour in. better. That bowl was too big. Okay, and we've got one more left, I think, in this particular order of the Fad Key crystals. I am still going to use this bowl for pouring, and this one is the um, Mermaid Agate. get it open. These are kind of tough. Okay. And I will let you, they kind of look like fluorite to me, but this is called the, the mermaid agate. But it looks a lot like fluorite, just saying. Two, four, and fifty. Fifty. Two. Four. Fifty. of the mermaid agate. Let's see what's next. And with that order, they handed me what they call needles. Um, they don't 
they just look like wire, beading wire to me. I don't know why they would call these needles. I'm totally confused. Uh, it's beading wire. It's like a seven inch strand bead or seven strand beading wire. So I'm not sure why they call these needles, but I think what they do is they bend them like this and then they put this beading string this elastic style beading string. Well, I'm not going to do it. Let's see if there's one. Yeah, this elastic style beading string right here. And uh, I think that's how they call that a needle. But it's not a needle. I mean, a needle is a needle. But I guess <laughs> it, it's kind of funny to me. I, I, I don't see needles as beading wire. But I know that I always see them have this little hook so I, I'm assuming that you bend this yourself and then you put your beading wire through it so and then you uh, bead your beads on this beading wire so it's not a needle folks even though that's what they call it so confused by that it's just pe cut pieces of literal beading wire okay but the scissor needles because that's what they call it uh, as a gift, I did receive these uh, rose gold rhinestone rondelles and these silver spacers. And uh, it was a five order, uh, five order uh, that I made on the beads. So they gave me five rolls of elastic string, which is nice because I didn't have any of that type of string. But again, I do have a, a second order with them and uh, I may be making another video or I might include it on that one, on this one rather. So we'll just see. And uh, if I come back, you'll know. Otherwise, bye.